Welcome to Revival Time Hub, the fire shall ever be burning upon the altar, it shall never go out. You must know your place. There are many, many people who know God to an extent. There are even few who have had a healthy understanding of who they are, but many have not found their place in destiny. In Luke chapter 4, from verse 16, here's what the Bible says, 16 and 17. Very instructive scripture as we prepare to pray. The Bible says, and as he came, he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. The Bible says, and as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read, verse 17. Very powerful scripture, verse 17. Luke 4, 17. The Bible says, and there was delivered unto him the book of Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, hallelujah, he found the place where it was written. When he opened the book, he found from the book the place where it was written. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me when you read from verse 18. He found it. And when he read it, he now closed the book. The eyes fastened upon him. And he said, this scripture is fulfilled. That means I have found my place. Let me tell you the truth. It is risky to sojourn this earth in confusion as to your place in life and destiny and in God's program. We are celebrating our father in the Lord today and our mother we are celebrating the mighty things that God has done and continues to do across the globe through the RCCG simply because a man found his place. It is powerful when you find your place because when you find your place in God's program, you have found security. When you find your place in God's program, you have found the basis of your confidence. It is dangerous to assume your place you must find it you can't just assume this is my place uh -uh. let me announce to you by the authority of scripture that there is an allocation for everyone in God's prophetic pro program there is nobody here under the sound of my voice and for those watching by television there is no one upon the earth who does not have a place in God's prophetic program but you see let me tell you the truth your place cannot be left vacant forever if you refuse to occupy your place god is able to give your bishopric to another person that is why someone can begin a ministry as an evangelist and later up end up carrying other responsibilities the added responsibility was given to him through faithfulness because of someone else's assignment that he refused to do it's in your Bible. He said, his bishopric, let another take. Oh, may no one replace you in destiny. May no one replace you in destiny. <laughs> Hallelujah. Do you know why finding your place in destiny is very important? Because destiny is like a relay. How many of you have um, seen those in the track and field running? And when there are four people running a relay, when one person starts all the other three are at the mercy of that one person is that true they are ready they are willing you even see some of them jogging but if the person to come is slow and is wasting their time he can delay the destiny of all the rest how many people's destinies have been delayed now because you have not found your place imagine if mary did not find her place imagine if joseph did not find his place imagine if jesus did not find his place imagine if abraham did not find his place esther paul who wrote two-thirds of the new testament he said lo i come let's 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 read that that, that chapter 
Hebrews 10 and verse 7 lo I come 10 7 Hebrews lo I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me to do thy will when I found out that by the privilege of God's grace that I have a place in God's program I have a place in the revival that is happening I have a place in steering my generation to love and know God when I found that place I was happy and this is what I do all my life this is why I live and if it pleases him this is why I would transit to see his face all my days on earth I will await the moment that I see you face to face for nothing in this world can satisfy Jesus you're the cup that will run dry listen hear me you are seated here today and you are getting blessed your being blessed is a result of someone finding his place in life and destiny you must find your place you want to show forth there is an allocation for you there are some of you a few years from now you are the ones who will be standing here and you are going to be preaching to others and you will tell them many years ago i was seated there there are some of you you will travel from nation to nation carrying the gospel and the power of god with signs and wonders betting revivals across territories hear me there are some of you you are the ones who will become the billionaires and be supplying resources for the kingdom activities there are some of you you are the political leaders that will be enacting policies that make the territory safe for the gospel and safe for advancement and safe for development there are some of you you are the educators who will be training the next level of leaders please hear me by all means find your place by all means find your place it is a risk to not find your place listen carefully roaming around and wasting your time in unreasonable activities unreasonable relationships unreasonable distractions is only eating up your destiny i hope you know the unit of destiny is time whatever you give your time to you are giving a part of your life to hallelujah i want you to listen very carefully to this song i'm, I'm about to sing and then we'll pray whatever you want to say lord you can say through me whatever you want to do lord you can do through me whoever you want to bless lord you can bless through me whoever you want to change lord you can change through me and here's the reason i'm yours jesus i'm yours forevermore i'm yours lord jesus i'm yours forevermore listen whoever you want to lift lord you can lift through me whatever you want to start lord you can start through me and whatever you want to end lord you can end is that someone's prayer i'm yours 
Jesus, I'm yours forevermore. I'm yours. Jesus, I'm yours forevermore. Now hear me. Whoever you want to heal, Lord, you can heal. Whoever you want to change, Lord, you can change you me. That is what it means to find your place in destiny. Lord, if there is someone who needs healing, Joshua Selman is available. Lord, if there is someone who needs to know Jesus, Joshua Selman is available. Lord, if there is a nation that needs revival and that the fire of God falls upon it, Joshua Selman is available. Do you need me to give you a prayer request or are you already praying? You must find your place in destiny. You must find your place in destiny. Listen, please listen to me. Listen to me. I want you to make a covenant with your destiny tonight that visionless living comes to an end. Make a covenant with your destiny that anything that wastes my time tonight is the night I wrap it up. I don't have time for distractions, time for waste. There are millions depending upon your destiny. Here's what the Bible says. It said, seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and to run with perseverance the race that is set before us looking unto Jesus the Bible calls him the author and the finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross and despised the shame someone open your mouth and begin to pray father I obtain grace grace to invest in the knowledge of God grace to invest in knowing myself grace to invest in finding my place in your prophetic program for the nation someone pray a man of god who is rising pray a businessman who is rising pray a student who is rising pray a visionary who is rising, pray. Hallelujah. Now listen very carefully. Listen. I want you to pray and say, Father, the same way you walk with our Father, and guided him to become what he has become today guide me also guide me by your spirit lift your voice and pray guide me also by step by season guide me also by moment by decision guide me also you guided our fathers lord guide me pray guide my generation pray Welcome to Revival Time Hub, the fire shall ever be burning upon the altar, it shall never go out.